Welcome to our creative Halloween decoration video. Today, we're transforming your home into a real haunted house with eerie pumpkins, a spooky garden, and impressive smoke effects. From glowing jack-o'-lanterns to mysterious graveyards and creepy scarecrows, we'll guide you step-by-step step to create a unique Halloween atmosphere that will amaze everyone. Let's get started and make this Halloween unforgettable. Haunted House Description 1. Overall Layout Oh, the house has an old, dilapidated, and abandoned look with faded brick walls and large cracks across the surface. The heavy wooden front door is slightly ajar, creaking eerily as the wind blows through, creating a spine-chilling sound. Oh, cobwebs are thickly spread around the house, covering windows and corners. A few windows are broken, with worn-out curtains slightly swaying in the breeze. 2. Lighting Oh, the primary lighting comes from jack-o'-lanterns placed along the pathway and near the front door. These pumpkins are carved with spooky faces, emitting a faint glow, flickering gently to create an eerie effect. Oh, neon lights in red or purple, cast from dark corners, highlight the cobwebs and skulls, enhancing the spooky and mysterious atmosphere. Oh, a few candles, melted with dripping wax, flicker faintly on an old wooden table or high shelf, casting flickering shadows on the walls. 3. Decorations and Details Oh, cobwebs and fake insects. Cobwebs cover every corner of the house, doorways, and furniture. Fake spiders are scattered around, with some hanging from the ceiling by thin threads, swaying as if crawling through the air. Oh, skulls and bones. Place a few skulls on the window ledges or tables. Bones are randomly scattered on the floor, as if old skeletons were abandoned. A bony hand could be hung at the door or along the pathway for extra creepiness. Oh, haunted objects. Some old items, like a wall clock, rocking chair, or door, can be designed to move slightly on their own, giving the effect of being haunted, using thin strings or small motors yes, 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 to make yes. objects sway or make sounds. Oh, magic mirror. Set up a large, cracked mirror in the corner of a room, dimly lit, reflecting eerie, distorted images. You can use 3D projection technology or reflective panels to create the illusion of ghosts appearing in the mirror. 4. Sound Effects Oh, wind howling through broken windows and the creaking of old wooden doors. Oh, occasionally you hear footsteps, ghostly laughter, or soft moaning echoing from the dark corners of the house. Oh, the sound of objects, like rocking chairs or doors moving on their own, adds to the suspense. 5. Outdoor Scene Oh, the pathway leading to the house is laid with gravel or dirt, decorated with faintly glowing jack-o'-lanterns on either side. Along the way, you can place a few fake human hands or feet sticking up from the ground, like zombies rising from their graves. Oh, a hanging witch or ghost figure can be suspended from a tree or the roof, gently swaying in the wind. You can use thin materials like chiffon or silk to make the ghost appear more ethereal. Pumpkin Patch and Surrounding Scenes Pumpkin Patch Layout A sprawling pumpkin patch is set up in front of the haunted house, filled with pumpkins of various sizes. Some are fresh and round, while others are aged and misshapen giving an eerie, unnatural look. Scattered among the pumpkins are a few rotten or decaying pumpkins with darkened, sunken faces, adding to the haunted feel of the scene. Creeping vines snake along the ground and over the pumpkins, with some tendrils appearing to be alive, reaching out toward visitors as they walk by. Carved Jack-O-Lanterns the jack-o'-lanterns are creatively carved with various expressions, ranging from mischievous grins to twisted, sinister faces. Some feature intricate designs with hollowed-out sections that cast ominous shadows when lit from inside. The glowing jack-o'-lanterns are placed strategically along pathways, on window ledges, and at the entrance to the haunted house. 
The flickering lights from within are made to mimic the effect of candles about to go out, giving the scene an unstable, ghostly feel. A few large pumpkins are stacked on top of each other to create a totem of pumpkins, with the largest on the bottom and the smallest, most intricately carved pumpkin at the top. This totem stands tall near the entrance of the house, almost like a guard. Creepy props. Scarecrows made of old, ragged clothes stand among the pumpkins, their straw-stuffed faces eerily expressionless, or with grotesque painted-on faces that glow faintly in the dark. One scarecrow might hold a rusty sickle or farming tool, adding a sense of threat. Around the patch, hidden among the pumpkins, are animatronic props like skeletal hands or claws that reach out suddenly when visitors pass by. These add surprise jump scares to the otherwise still and eerie pumpkin patch. Crows or ravens, either as models or animated figures, are placed on the pumpkins or scarecrows, squawking or cawing in the distance, enhancing the spooky atmosphere. Pumpkin Ritual Altar In one corner of the scene there's a ritual altar made of old stone or wood. On it lies a giant, grotesquely carved pumpkin, glowing with an unsettling light. Surrounding this central pumpkin are smaller candles arranged in a circle, some flickering erratically, as if disturbed by a ghostly presence. Above the altar, hanging from the trees or from an old wooden structure, are symbols or runes carved into pumpkin skins, dripping with what appears to be wax or blood. The altar area emits a low, ominous hum or distant chant, adding to the creepy, supernatural feel. Fog and lighting effects. Thick fog covers the ground, rolling in waves across the pumpkin patch. The fog is illuminated by dim colored lights, green, orange, and purple, that make the scene look otherworldly. The fog obscures visitors' feet as they walk through, giving the feeling that they are moving through an enchanted or cursed land. The lighting in the pumpkin patch is mostly low, with the only major sources being the jack-o'-lanterns and a few scattered lanterns that give off weak, flickering light. Some areas of the patch are purposely left darker, drawing people towards the lit pumpkins and enhancing the mystery of the unseen. Sound Effects Throughout the pumpkin patch there are soft, eerie whispers or low growls heard, as if the pumpkins or surrounding props are coming to life. Occasionally the faint sound of a childlike giggle echoes, unsettling visitors as they pass by. In the background the wind howls through the vines and scarecrows, and sometimes the sound of leaves crunching can be heard as though someone or something is approaching from behind. Surrounding scenery and additional decorations. Creepy forest path. Leading up to the haunted house is a narrow forest pathway lined with dead, twisted trees. The trees are bare, their branches looking like clawed hands reaching toward the sky or toward passing visitors. The path itself is covered in fallen leaves that rustle in the wind, adding to the eerie ambiance. Hanging lanterns made from hollowed-out gourds or old iron cages swing slightly from the trees, casting dim, swinging light across the path. Some lanterns hold small, flickering lights, while others contain glowing stones or candles. Spectral figures made of sheer fabric float just above the ground, slowly drifting back and forth along the path. They are translucent and only visible when certain lights hit them, creating a ghostly illusion. Graveyard scene. Nearby, a small graveyard is set up with crooked weathered tombstones. Some of the graves are slightly dug up, with skeletal hands emerging from the dirt. Others are adorned with overgrown vines and moss, giving the area an ancient and forgotten feel. At certain intervals, gravestones glow with faint green or blue light, as if the spirits of the buried are restless and trying to escape. Faint mist rises from the ground in this area, making the atmosphere feel cold and otherworldly. Ghostly projections might appear from behind some of the tombstones, briefly flickering into view before fading away, giving visitors the impression that spirits are watching them. Spooky window displays. The windows of the haunted house itself 
feature shadowy silhouettes like figures or faces staring out into the night. These can be made with translucent materials and backlit to give the effect of something or someone lurking inside the house. Occasionally, a phantom-like figure might glide past the window, visible only for a brief second before disappearing into the shadows. You could use a simple projection to create this fleeting ghost effect. 